Hello there lads and ladies and welcome once again back to Divinity Original Sin. So here we are in Arhu's house. After I had basically sold just about everything in my inventory, I also picked up a few of these treasure maps from a trader I found. I can't actually remember because I did this last time. Oh, I think he was in the um the inn actually. I think that's where that fella was. Um, so yeah, I thought these treasure maps might be quite interesting. I haven't done anything with them. I guess I have to use them like so, but I haven't even touched that basically. I just bought a couple and I sold all of my crap pretty much. Like most, I still got loads of crap actually, but I basically got all of the coins that everyone in the entire city has. I also picked up a couple of spells. Um, as you can see, um, on our lovely tanky lady. Oh, what's her name again? Scarlet, isn't it? Um, we got Summon Undead Warrior and we got Encourage. I picked up. Um, on her, I picked up. Um, wait, hang on. I think. Didn't I? I guess I didn't pick up any skills with her. Maybe I. She doesn't even have any skill books. Hmm? Huh? Doctor's skill book. That's for sale, though, because she already knows it. Now, I know he has got a couple of these, and he's also got a lightning strike. But he can't do anything with them yet. So, yeah. Anyway, treasure maps. Let's put these on Scarlet. Because I do tend to wander around with Scarlet. Because she tends to be the first into combat. Well, I do tend to lay traps actually with Roderick. But if anyone needs to go first into combat, it is her. That's why I lead with her. Treasure maps. Right. Let's use this. Okay. Jerome's Treasure 1. Ah, the location of Cecil Prowler's most uh, Prowler's lost chest of trophies. You don't believe in ghosts, do you? Huh? <laughs> what? Hang on. Let's let's go outside where I can actually see a proper map here. Map. Location secret. So now we've got a chest somewhere, but it appears to be very well hidden. And by well hidden, I mean remarkably well hidden. I have no clue where Jerome's map would be. Huh. Okie dokie. Well, what about this one? My map is slowly filling up with secrets. So we've got Jerome's treasure map too. Some say Marla Goldhammer buried her fabled treasure chest exactly here. Okay. Ah, hello, Hidden Mound. There's one. Okay. Ah, here. Okay, found them. Awesome. Right. Well, that ain't so hard. And I think we need probably a, a, a spade to find them. So, Jerome. Where did I speak to Jerome? Oi. It's been a little while since I played last, so I can't quite remember. Because I basically, last time, before I went off, I spent the entire time... Searching for uh, traders just to get loads of gold, basically, to sell a lot of our stuff. But I think he's probably in the marketplace. That would be my guess. He's either the marketplace or the inn. One or the, one or the other. Oh, Jerome. Okay, no, it's, it's the painter. Here we go. Let's take the, all of these maps, why not? We may as well get ourselves some treasure. And we'll sell him back a bunch of our stuff. Hmm. 
Now we'll balance it out with a little bit of coin. There we go. No. I'll take my leave. Thank you. Sort by type. Here we go. There we go. All the maps have been read. I wonder if I can sell these maps back after I've read them. They're not worth too much, but I'll, I'll, I'll loot them first before I sell them to anyone, actually. Because maybe, like, the map will turn out to be magic and is required to, in order to dig the treasure. Okay. So let's head. Let's go get these treasure mounds. I wonder if any of these treasures will also involve dangers. So it's right next to the portal, actually. Right here. It's actually marked on the map. So we're going to go get some treasure. Hunt some treasure down. Get some of that. Add it to our coffers. And then, after that, we will head towards the Flaming Church, essentially, and see if we can take that on. Oh yeah, I also got this one, Melee Precision Stance, which is just sort of a toggled ability. And in case I need it, I can use it. So, gives 30% um, chance to hit and plus 15% from strength, sort of thing. So, if there's an enemy that's particularly difficult to hit, we'll be able to hit them much better. Now, there should be a mound here. Oh yeah, I actually unlocked the, the camera rotation to allow me to rotate the camera almost fully. Which apparently it says for story mode it's it's not a good idea to do it, but um... What's this? I found something. Okay, we found it. There it is. Found the mound. I don't have the right tool for digging. She does though. Hey, hey, chest. There we go. Some unidentified level 1 items. Fair dues. So yeah, I allowed the map to be rotated more, because there were times where I kind of wanted to view something from a slightly better angle, and um, it wasn't really possible. So it's a little bit annoying, the uh, restriction, actually, on the uh, viewpoint. But hey, I've undone it now. Of course, having to use middle mouse button, I'm not a fan of ever. The middle mouse button's sucks. And I'd never have it set for anything, really. Okay, over here. This is the fiery area, if I recall. So this area is just over to the right of it. Here's the fiery area. And here is the treasure, right here. Let's go get, go to it, then. So I'm guessing if you're lucky and you happen to somehow locate the secrets... Oh, there's one here. Hidden mount. That one's going to be a bit of a trek to get to, but we'll do it. So you just sort of need to comb the map, really, to find the secrets. Some of the secrets might be inside of caves or something, I guess as an additional hiding factor. Hmm. Cross yourself thrice before attempting to dig up the cursed treasure of Babe Orpa. Okay, so... We might get attacked when involved with certain ones. Something. There we go. Treasures up. A chest, and we got an armored plate. Quite nice, but not that great, really. Got better. Bodybuilding, constitution, it's nice. But we don't need it. And a shield, but we don't use shields. Everyone has two-handed weapons in our team.
Could it be the location of the hidden stash of Princess Powellin discovered? Rumour has it that King Janus sent his prized possessions west, where they were to be buried, along with his memory. It's only a story, but some say this is where the Golden Goose buried the last of its precious eggs. Okay. Here we go. There. Okay. Waypoint Portal Cecil Villa. Here we go. Let's get us nice and close. What's this? I found something. There we go. And let's dig it up. It's a nicer chest. A rabbit's paw. Okay. And uh, we've got a bow. And we've also got a bell. An identified rope. That might be quite good. Because I don't think we ha even have any bell items yet. It's our first one. So no matter what it is, someone's going to be able to wear it. Strength and lockpicking. Well, I think I know who that's going on. What's this? Let's hand it to her briefly. Right, strength and lock picking is definitely going on our our strength character to enhance her strength even further. Let's check out this bow. It's less by a significant amount, so it was just to be sold really. Okay, that was another treasure chest we managed to find. Now there should be. That's so far one, two, three, isn't it? Uh, and there's a fourth up here, so that leaves two more. They're very hard to notice. They're like such a little tiny thing, even on the map. They're like difficult to just notice them. Okay, let's mark this one. Can we warp over there in any way? Yeah, we can. Um, Cecil statues. Here we go. And the Watcher Shrine. So I wonder if we could spawn any more out of these Watcher Shrines. That's of interest. Right, it should be over here in this corner. Here we go. Diggy diggy. Where the heck did that come from? Frickin' space. Shiny pearl. And then a bunch of male armor. And a morning star. And more male armor. Well, let's identify. 23 armor. I don't think any of this is going to have better armor stats, really. Strength, bodybuilding, earth resistance. Uh, chance to set cursed status. Interesting. I don't know what cursed status is, but I assume it isn't great. And there's uh, cur armor that gives intelligence. Interesting. But it requires 7 strength to wear, so... Sadly, old Roderick can't be wearing it. Alright, let's save real quick. Oh, hold on. And I'm just going to see if I can spawn more stuff out of these statues. Because I never tried to spawn anything more from them. I just sort of destroyed them and then they stopped talking. No, nothing more seems to happen after uh, they spawn something. So let's try being counter elemental. Let's let's try using lightning on water. See what happens. No, nothing. We're just testing, because you never know. Right. So that is. Oh, there's another one here. Right here, next to the. Uh, the church. 
actually easier to see when you zoom right out, actually. Because they're bigger. And they look sort of strange on the terrain. So we've got the one there, got the one there, got the one there, there's one there. Which puts us up to four, and that's five, isn't it? So there's one more, there's a sixth somewhere that might be inside of it. Ah, there it is, found it. It's there and there. So we're going to find them both near the old church. So that's where we need to head. So let's head to, what's this one? Cecil North Gate. Understood. So now it's time to head to the chest. Yeah, dangerous manger. Let's go. Nothing can stop us now. We're a powerhouse of a team. Alright. So we've got the bridge here. I'm thinking there's also sort of like a passage here that leads into the church. Uh huh. So do we want to take on this flaming passageway that looks barely crossable? It's just scorched like all the way up. And then there's the church. Where do we want to go? Did you hear that? Oh God, the bloody skeletons! I forgot about them. Okay. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to check our level. Level seven. Okay, well these are level eight, so let this let's go the other way. The way towards the actual church, because it seems we don't need to go this way to go to the church. So we'll take an alternate route. So I'm pretty sure there is, yeah, there's a little crossing through the river that leads around the flaming area. Because the flaming area is clearly not good for various reasons. And I would very much like to find some water magics, which we've found a distinct lack of. Even when I went to all of the different merchants in the town, I didn't find any water spells. So yeah, there's like these flaming undeads. Oh, can spread some water around, which gets rid of some of the fire. There's knights and pikemen, burning ones. Let's head through here. We got an auto save. Right, where's this treasure? It's up on the top, and this one's sort of behind the courtyard, which would get us all of our. We could dig up these, but I don't know if that's a good idea. Is there something? Come on, let me. Ah, there we go. No, there's nothing, it's just the tree branch. Right, so we're heading towards some poison pools. What's this? Why can we click on it? Okay. There's poison all over the place here, and oil as well. I fear that undeads are going to jump from the ground beneath us. I wonder what happens if I light these candles. Light the candles for us, Roderick. Nope. Nothing. It is burning, apparently. Okay. Oh, what's this? Graveyard Madman. Aha! I have some company, I see! And such delightful opportunity, a opportune moment, too! 
I am about to conduct a small experiment, and if you have an interest in magic and science, you'll oblige me by taking part in it, will you not? I have laced this area with more than a few precursionous um, little friends who are simply bursting with anticipation of supper, but they simply ab abha abhor uncooked meat. So you may find they'll want to char you before ripping your throats. Now your job is to put up a might of resistance against your inevitable death. Sounds good, yes? Right then, on your marks, get set, go. Okay, so basically there is... Oh shit, I should have moved. Tactical retreat. Badoing! Right, we're doing a little bit of a trek. They don't get attack of opportunity, which is good. didn't quite work out how I had hoped. But we are away from them now. And we can bring her back. We just need to get a scroll off of her. Which is a little bit of a problem. Man, this would have been easy to dealt with if I had backed off. They have so many frickin' turns. I don't want to dig that up. Don't. Awesome. You dug up a poison vent. Bloody hell. God damn it, they're gonna take forever to take their bloody turns. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, sadly, we can't take items from dead characters currently, which is a little bit annoying. Kaboom! Yeah, it's rid of a bunch of them. This guy still has flame shield for one turn, so it'll be a good idea to blow him up next turn. God damn, they take a long time to take their turns of doing nothing.
Now that his flame shield is gone, let's turn him into charcoal. Come on, skeletons, hurry up. Hurry up and understand that you're not doing anything. Come on, come on. There we go, finally. Invalid target. Come on. Good enough. Boom, look at all that XP. Oh my god. She didn't get any of it, did she? We're going to reload. Because we had an auto save right as we entered here. I just don't want her missing out on all that XP because it's easy and free. Because it's a little bit shitty. Right. Let's do that again because that was easy. Easy mode. Just we'll back up before. Uh, well, the shit hits the fan, really. So you're gonna have your little crazy talk. A blee blah 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 Bing bong bang, bouncy bouncy twang. Oh, I just accidentally put her into a burning area by accident. Maybe because I can't quite see the burning area due to the grass. The grass hides it very well. Ooh, that was so close to hitting them. Now I think I have encourage. No, that ain't it quite. Oh, I had some sort of ability to like heal them up, or maybe I've just got it in my inventory. Flurry spell book. No, I don't. I didn't pick up the aid thing then. He'll protect himself from fire. Which won't help him at the end of the day. Oh, that's a good idea. You are made of a bomb by 50%, so running into fire is clearly a wise idea. They're taking themselves out for me, I guess. I hope we're getting XP for this, which we don't seem to be. Well, don't we have weak, blind, mute, disease, and this one's just poison? Then I guess we'll just uh, wait. Here we go, we've got XP for that. Once oh, this burning wears off, we'll heal her up.
Oh, there's like a spell book or something. Oh, an adventurous field guide. God damn it. Summon up the fire elemental. Because we can sell him, send him through the fire without harm. Okay, he's on the move. Oh, he's actually still taking fire damage, even though he's uh, got the fire shield there. Interesting. And now they've seen the fire elemental and they're immediately going to suicide. Which I hope gives us XP. I really do. But I don't think it does, somehow. Oh, wow, this guy actually takes quite a lot of damage. Fire Elemental got poisoned. Interesting. Yeah, now he's taking a lot of damage. And he ain't quite so resistant to that fire damage anymore. There we go. Big pile of XP. But I do see that we missed out on a lot of the XP that the uh, the little flaming guys drop. How to speak troll, zombie edition, jar, mug of beer, and all sorts of other things. Well, we need this fire to be cleared out. Before we can really move into the loot, sadly. So I'll have to wait a moment. And I guess this is the right way to go then, because the mobs here aren't that strong. So this is probably the correct choice. And the fire area, since it's level 8, is probably the next area to go to. Oh. The Twins by Fire Joined. Oh. Charred Bone Idol. Okay, that's interesting. And that's the, the other boss that we were told about. Big Fire Elemental. Hmm. We might want some water magic before we get there. I mean, by might, we will want water magic by the time we get to him. We'll probably at least want to be able to make it rain. To just get rid of the ground fire. God damn it. Come on fire, go away. It would be nice if we were allowed to move. Summon up this fella. Let's see what he's like. So he's level 7, he's an undead swordsman. Looks very basic, but he'll probably do the job good enough. Only lasts a few turns though. Here we go. Let's take a look at this. 
Here we go. How to speak troll. Zombie edition. Grunt grumf gra. You need to give me the troll toll. Gra grumf gromp. Your actions displease me greatly. Grack. I understand that trolls must collect toll, but surely zombies are accept, accept, accepted. Grumpf Grat. Death quite becomes you. One of your good looks ought not to waste his time with troll collection. Gra oomph. I'll remove your rotten skull and use it for kickball. Grip. Perhaps you're right. You may pass freely. Granite. Grumpf Gra. Damn the gold. I'll kill you. Gramb. Greetings. Graf Graf. Take these coins. A hundred should do. Okay. Fair enough. Now we know the basics of troll communication. We've got tons of treasure. Arrowheads, iron ore, logs, gold, mugs of water, bread, logs. God damn, stuff everywhere. Right. More potions, gold, gold, charming arrowhead. Damn, and it's almost impossible to pick this stuff up without freaking using the item finding button. Another adventurous field guide, outdated armor, some sort of sword, a mushroom, gold, bottle of beer, mug of water, medium healing pots. Coins, cup of tea, more field guides. Bloody hell. Freaking stacked on items like crazy. Anyway, our thing that we're looking for is just ahead. Just under this tree, apparently. Here it is. Another chest. Ooh, best skill book. Ooh, interesting. And also, some worn leather braces. I was thinking, bless. Do we know that already? Some spider, midnight oil, magic poison arrow, earth resistance, and boulder bash. Okay, so no, we don't know. Bless. And this is our last chest, I believe, that we found. And I guess we can throw away the maps after that. Well, well not throw away, you know, sell. Yeah, we can sell the maps back to someone. So what's this? We identified it. It's armor rating of 5 with blacksmithing and pot picking. It's got two-handed and blacksmithing, so it's better, and it's even got more armor. And there's a route that leads all the way into the fire area from here. Interesting. Come on. 
Move, please. God damn you. She could be less dumb, that would be cool. Okay, let's head up towards the castle, uh, the church then. Let's see what's in store for us. Because we need to get in there anyway. Strange. Hang on. The sounds, the chaos. Go on, Venner. Speak your pace. What's this then? Okie dokie. So we've got some ghosts ahead and they look like mages. Let's go see what they have to say for themselves. Ebenezer. Ah, mortal, ah, we surely, well, surely, I don't have to tell you how much better a life or death here in Rivalon is compared to a dreadful eternity in the Hall of Echoes. Why are you ghosts hanging around here? Beats me, we're hardly the only Sicilians lost at sea, but here's some strange magic afoot of late. The dead can't seem to stay that way. We were all aboard a ship heading from Atrata to a fair seesaw, but upon our return the lighthouse failed to shine its light and we were lost upon the rocks and flung far and wide upon the tremendous seas. Okay, so, uh... My name's Ebenezer, pleased to meet you to make your acquaintance. You've probably been meeting some sad souls around here, but I'm sure as hell there ain't one of them. In life, my interests were soft leathers, southern vintages, and sun-ripened afternoons, and an ample fleshed companions. Each sense was a source of new and familiar pleasures, and I luxuriated in them all. As a ghost, I admit to that many of those pleasures evade me, but Rivalon still smacks, uh, uh, smucks of life more than the Hall of Echoes could. Okay. Though half the fun was sharing your exploits with an eager ear, you know. Ah, what I'd give to find my little buddy again. And the best listener I ever had the pleasure of regaling. Oh god, I think I know where this is going. The ship sunk and turned us all into fountains. She was home to a sweet old tomcat, Oscar by the name, who'd curl up, cosy as can be, on my pillow. We shared many stormy nights while I scratched his chin and whispered stories of my useful exploits. Oscar, the cat. But I reckon cats don't stay on as ghosts after they pass, because the little furball is nowhere to be seen. That or the lucky little bastard managed to survive the wreck. He was a scrappy old fellow after all. Oscar, huh? Got a rope here, but it has no stats on it at all. There's no point to buying it. It's a charm arrowhead. Okay. So maybe if I bring him his cat friend, he'll be happy. Then we got a bunch of other ghosts here. Got a pickaxe that we could take and break, no doubt. Let's try to buy. Yeah, let's just do that. Get some coins. Okay, so there's lots of ghosts here that have lots of things to say. But it's mostly about Ebenezer, I guess. Until we meet again. Quinton? Actually, we can get those last few coins out of him too. So give him this. 
Actually, maybe I should... Maybe I should keep the steak. Yeah, screw it. What's the chances we'll meet a vampire? Okay, they might not be too happy about me grabbing the frickin'... If I grab that chest, they'll probably not be too happy about me doing it, so maybe we should ignore it. After all, they're a bunch of mages, and if they have AoE, they'll frickin' destroy us. Oh, a fight has started. There is an explosive one, undead battle mage, some ghastly zombies. Okay, we've got ghastly zombies here. With the explosive one, we've got a fully armored archer. Where is he? Oh, he's right at the back. I see him. It would be good to be able to take out that, uh... You know what? We'll back up a little bit. them move up on us. Because I have a plan. Oh, there's a couple of archers. Okay. Here comes that battle freaking knight whatever. Oh yeah, let's move close to your friends. No, no, back, back to your back to your friends. Oh god, you move quick. Do do do. Oh, what's that? There's oil everywhere. Oh, my, 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 my accident. Oh, whoops. Oh, my, that was terrible. Oh, my apologies. My, my fingers must have slipped. <laughs> you know how these things are. Oh, look, here's a fireball. Catch. Oh, look, another, oh, my, a boulder from the sky. Uh, stop resisting the effects, you buggers. Now wait for them. And encourage everyone. Did she fail? I believe she did. Oh my, these poor archers and the like. They've been ravaged by something. This guy is resisting all the burn damage. He isn't a boss, though, is he? No, he's just a battle mage. Oh, those zombies move very quick. But luckily, they're burning to a crisp. Huh. Yes, good shooting. Hmm. Yeah, teleport him. Boom, baby! Ha oh, ha! A battle mage that's been silenced? So in other words, he is just a warrior now. That knows spells, but cannot use them. Well. Oh. Sounds like an advantage to us. 30% chance. Let's move up on him. 50% chance. Much better. Summon a friend for him. Summon for him not only to attack, Perfect. And knock this sucker down. 
Oh, hammer time. <laughs> We're so powerful. Wonderful. Okay, come on, move. I know you can do. Right, we got levels to spend. Okay. Well, that's the wrong thing. Right, so we got a stat to spend. We can take more strength. Which we will do. We got strength rules as king. Because we've got loads of HP still. And we've got three points to spend. We can take more witchcraft. But I don't think we need to really. Personality. We can get some more charisma. Which would allow us to uh, influence people more. Determines the first impression you make on other people and your talent for charming, intimidating, and reasoning. Go on, Benny. Yes, I feel. Or maybe actually. Let's do some more blacksmithing. Get some more blacksmithing up. And we'll get some willpower. Spend all those points. Right. Her. Dexterity. Yes. And in here, we've got two skills. Weapons. She can't upgrade her crossbows. Uh, expert marksman. What do we need to upgrade it for its next thing? Is it free? It says base free. So... If I save a point... Stick a point in crafting. And she's got a spare point left over that we can save for next time. Now we'll shove it in intelligence. Two points. Skills. Get some more air magic, which I think we will. There we go. Right, now I believe we can learn some more spells. Uh, yes. Use. Requires level 10. Requires level 10. Okay. I have to remember to use all of his various different uh, magics. Because he's got quite a few more now than we can otherwise see. Flurry. It's also a level 10. Of Desecration. I think that's this one, isn't it? Yeah. So we have that already. These are all spell books to be sold except for Flurry. Flurry is one to use at level 10. It will give us a pretty nice attack. What is it exactly? It's, um, attack with a Flurry, your weapon, and deal 83 to 134 dam uh, slashing damage each strike. Um, use it for 8 action points. And I guess it has a chance to perform a number of abilities. Right. Ooh. That's a cool sword. Some orange juice, a morning star, poison cloud arrow, and a silver arrow. That's for her. Her crossbow could do with repairing once again. Where's the hammers? There they are. Hand it back. Right. Um, sword. Here's a good look. What's it? 66 to 106, plus one speed. Yeah, it's not, not as good. Simply got more on that other one. Okay. Check this loot. Nothing. Nothing. I'll continue up and around towards the front of the church and we'll get this treasure. It should be out the front here. Oh, got a little save. OK, 
Okay, it's actually sort of behind here. How'd I get there? Okay. So what's this? I found something, but there's a rock in the way. Oh, there's a hatch. So no doubt we can go underground and then come up for this. Well, need to go into the church. As you try to enter the church, the statues that flank its heavy oaken doors address you. Hold your horses, stranger. This holy hall may be entered by those who are loyal to the goddess only, and given eyes of stone can see you are no such creature. And who are those? Loyal to the goddess. Ha! Who are those loyal to the goddess, it asks. They are those who have seen the powers of blood, ignorant one. They partake in the knowledge of old. Blood is life, blood undoes death. Such is the wisdom you cannot even conceive. I wish to enter the church. It is a wish we cannot grant unless you prove you have knowledge of the goddess. Answer us therefore the following question. How is she known among the loyal, the exalted one? She who speaks for the goddess. Okay. So we can't answer the question. We've got to sort of roll a reason, a charm, or intimidate. Well, we can't exactly charm a statue. <laughs> that's my reasoning for that. Intimidating a statue, I don't think that's really going to work. So I guess reason is our only option. To reason with it. Oh, okay. Here we go. You disagree. Win the game and win the argument. Okay. Bang! Way hey, we get so many points. Rock. Smashy smash smash. And we win the argument using our reasoning. And we get charisma XP for everyone. Before such piety, we cannot remain as stern as stone we are shaped from. Go, you may enter the church. The loyals are lucky to count you among their number. Okay, well... We'll see how the loyals fare against my sword, which ah, there's a font here, and uh, here we go. Is there anything to pilfer? Lots of XP we're getting for free. Here's all those dead bodies we saw. Oh, hello, hooded man, young cultist, young cultist, young cultist. Oh, are these the ones we encountered? I think these are the ones we encountered at the uh, top of the stairs. So now we're finally confronting people that we met earlier on in the game. And we know that there's a secret behind all of the paintings. Oh, I bet I know what's going to happen. This guy's going to be like, Ha oh, ha ha ha! You found me! But you'll never catch me! Get them, disciples! And all the little disciples will run for me. He'll go down there and this will lock. And then I've got to work out the puzzle. Guaranteed that's going to be what happens. Anyway, that's going to happen next time because an hour has passed and we'll have an another episode next time. So I'm very much enjoying this game. It's very, very interesting. Ah, anyway, we'll see what happens next time, but I bet that's what happens. Guaranteed. It's such a, such a definite thing. Oh, he's got a beard and everything. He's an old man with a beard. I don't know what they're doing with that body. They're like, oh, hello. This is a body. Let's poke it. Oh, this is the first time I've seen a dead body. It's cold and bloody. It's strange. <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, thank you very much for joining me. Have a wonderful day, as per usual, whatever you're up to. And I'll see you next time. So until then, good day and goodbye. Have a wonderful day, whatever you're up to.